Hello and welcome to the NHL Best Bets. Yesterday, uh, round two in um, NHL playoffs started with um, Boston and New York Islanders uh, playing in Boston. Uh, we had a peak there and um, Boston was a um, better team in this uh, matchup between two really playoff teams. Uh, First line of Boston um, scored um, needed goals and uh, they won 5-2. to two. Um, Then other game, uh, Toronto-Montreal. It looks like Toronto is uh, on the way to another epic meltdown. Um, they've led uh, the series 3-1, to one, uh, managing the games very, very comfortably. But uh, now Montreal has won two, this time overtime 3-2. to two. And um, this series is heading to Game 7. And Tommy, how do you see this um, North Division um, matchup, um, the final that is open for first round? Um, I think Toronto Maple Leafs are missing uh, playoff hockey so much that they do want to play the seven-game series. That's how it looked like. They started playing only after two periods, going down to nothing. In the third one, uh, they outshot Montreal. They played a little bit better towards the end. But in the beginning, you have to start the game the way you want to finish it. You can't just wait for the other team to take the initiative. So Montreal... Uh, early on was a lot more active. They shot a lot more. They played better offense than Toronto. And this is something that we're not expecting to see from this pair. So Montreal played exactly how they have to play in order to, to beat Toronto. Um, and Toronto's uh, top guns were nowhere to be seen. So very quiet game from these top players who should be the uh, offensive leaders of this team. But nothing going on for two periods. So I do think that now Toronto does have to improve a lot in order to take the game seven they get to play at home which is a nice advantage but still uh i wouldn't have expected montreal to make it a seven game series so hats off to that team they have been surprising us now towards the end of the season even if uh, early on we were pretty correct them not doing so well but in playoffs montreal has uh, seemed like a little bit better team defensively than toronto and toronto I don't know why, but they don't seem to get their offense going. Uh, maybe Montreal is playing a little bit more physical and uh, making it not so nice to play for the Toronto players. Um, but it's a worrying thing that already against a team like Montreal, Toronto is struggling. So maybe there is another choking coming on from Toronto like it has been for some decades now. But let's hope that they will take the game seven. And the uh, the other game, uh, the first game of the second round in uh, in the uh, Eastern Division, Boston Bruins, New York Islanders, both playoff teams. Now, Boston Bruins showed that they are not to be bullied around like Penguins was. Islanders was a worse team by far. Boston showed that they are a contender again, and they played exactly as we expected. Five to two victory in the end. Islanders kept it close for two periods, but then... Eventually, the home team, better team, a little bit deeper team, managed to take a, quite a clear victory. So this was very much as expected. Boston, so much better team overall. Islanders trying to hang in there. I do think that when the series goes to New York, Islander has a little bit better chance. But now Boston is in the driver's seat and will probably continue to do so. Yeah, uh, Boston uh, played very very steady game and um, Islanders need to find new tricks um, to beat the uh, home team in second game. Uh, Montreal, like you said, have been playing a bit um, harder than maybe we expected. They won the hits last night, uh, 44 to 24 or 27. Um, but um, it's interesting to see game seven there because, um, you know, if these teams are heading game seven, uh, Winnipeg is just just waiting and uh, <laughs> after sweeping Edmonton they are ready for any kind of team um, either Montreal or Toronto and uh, it looks like Winnipeg has now pretty good situation to proceed to final four. Yeah, definitely a good thing, especially with this sort of season that you are very fatigued after after the regular season already. And now when we think of 
Winnipeg beating Edmonton. Edmonton Oilers is much more like Toronto is, while Winnipeg is much more like Montreal, so a lot more defensive, um, more balanced team overall. So it would be interesting to see how Winnipeg would match with Montreal, but I do still hope that one of these skill teams like Toronto will go through because uh, even if it is playoffs, you do want to see these uh, the best players in the league perform. So um, always a good thing to have the underdogs winning, but let's have a have a Toronto Winnipeg in this final. Thank you. <laughs> uh, one of the maybe uh, the final of the NHL, not in Stanley Cup, but uh, uh, the final uh, of the two best teams starts tonight. Um, uh, Colorado hosts Vegas, um, and um, those two heavyweights in the West um, will have a um, most probably great series here. Uh, we have two picks for tonight. Um, Vegas-Colorado game, um, over five and a half goals. Um, Colorado is rested, and um, they play at home. Vegas most probably try to shut down with uh, their defense and a uh, bit harder play Toronto's high-octane offense, but... Um, Against St. Louis, that is a bit similar team as Vegas. Um, Colorado scored on average five goals in their four um, playoff games in the first round. So it might be too tough task to do for a um, fatigued Vegas team after a game seven and one day rest. And then other uh, round two series starts in Central Division. Carolina hosts Tampa. Um, we have value for home team. We expect very even game here between uh, division winner Carolina and last year Stanley Cup winner Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa has maybe waited uh, regular season that uh, playoffs will start. They beat Florida. That is very similar team as Carolina. But um, now we'll see which team here will uh, go to the top four in the semifinals. Yeah, I think there is only good games from now on. All these teams, of course, the, the leaders in their division now, Tampa Bay, Carolina, uh, two of the top teams in there. Uh, pretty much a similar series ahead for Tampa Bay as it was against Florida. Uh, Carolina may be a little bit better defensively than Florida was, so Tampa Bay needs to up their game a bit. Uh, Carolina still at home. Uh, they are now one uh, one season older, uh, more experienced than last time around. Uh, Carolina at home have, has a great chance to win this game in simulations about 55%. So nice value with these odds, minus 103 for the home team. Uh, first game could be in this pair that they are a little bit standing off. Uh, trying to poke the the opponent and see what works and what doesn't. Uh, but these teams played really even games in the regular season. Carolina won three of their home games. Tampa won one on the road. So uh, not that much of a home advantage, but still for Carolina, I think important thing to start the series well. And Tampa Bay, as we have seen, might be a little bit uh, looking, watching, and then hitting back when they get the chance and they adjust their way of playing according how the opponent is playing. So maybe the first game turns a little bit more towards Carolina than the rest of this series. But let's see how it goes. Nice value anyway for the home team. Um, and then the Western Giants uh, meeting in Denver. Uh, Colorado, Vegas, a great game ahead. I do think that now Colorado has been waiting eagerly uh, to see who they're going to play against. It's Vegas, one of their uh, arch rivals, of course, from the regular season. Uh, rested team. High octane offense, Vegas maybe a little heavier feet, um, especially in the defense. Big guys, very good defensive team, but still Colorado can score that four to five goals against this team. And Vegas maybe a bit better offensively than St. Louis was. So maybe four to two victory for Colorado is in the book. So it is Colorado's offense against Vegas defense, especially the start of this series because uh, the tiredness of Vegas, seven games against Minnesota, uh, Colorado has been rested and they are so fast team that they will cause a lot of trouble for Vegas for sure. So let's go over 5.5 goals in the simulation, 64% going over. We are expecting 6.6 .6 goals per game. So this is mostly to Colorado scoring at least four goals. So let's see how it goes. Maybe Vegas can surprise, score a couple of more goals than they were scoring against Minnesota, but it's going to be pretty likely that it is an over game with Colorado scoring most of the goals. 
Yeah, in regular season um, they faced um, eight times, uh, four wins for both. Uh, both teams won two games at home, two games on the road, so not too much home arena advantage there. But I think now, like you said, uh, uh, there's no rest for um, uh, Vegas. Um, Colorado has rested. They play home at mile high and uh, they maybe can uh, just uh, outskate uh, Vegas uh, defenders because their uh, pace that has been uh, too much to take for for every team uh, in NHL. Um, they won the President's Trophy and uh, and beat uh, Vegas in the most important final game, 2-1 uh, to one in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, I think uh, Colorado will come to this game uh, as fast as they can uh, use their speed and just, uh, just try to um, exhaust Vegas even more. So if they manage to uh, take a lead in the beginning, make Vegas chase, uh, it's going to be a hard, hard place for Vegas to take anything. And towards the end of the game, if Colorado is capable of playing four lines, uh, even out the uh, the um, the balance of their team, so they can use all these players they have at their disposal, I do think that Vegas will will fall from the wagon at some point, maybe in the third period. But still, um, I think Colorado better team, but Vegas has the chance to uh, hit back and especially uh, creating turnovers. That Colorado's Achilles heel might be that they are trying to control the puck so much that it causes them to lose it at some points. And Vegas, if they manage to be a bit more efficient in goal scoring from their chances, they can also score a couple of goals. Yeah, uh, that is a um, very, very interesting series that um, is coming or starting uh, tonight. And uh, uh, as uh, Montreal continued their season for at least one more game, we don't have the second round uh, series prediction for um, Scoria North division yet, but uh, um, after Monday evening we know that um, how or which team will go against Winnipeg and then um, in Tuesday we'll provide the uh, series uh, prediction for all of you as well. Yeah, let's see how the Toronto Maple Leafs Stanley Cup Championship odds are going to change if they are going to even beat Montreal, but they were one of the favorites early on. Maybe this uh, Montreal series has shown that they may not be as good as maybe Tampa Bay or Vegas or Colorado. So let's see how this works out. Um, good games tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. See you tomorrow.